it would be really great if I could grow up and get old like you did. But mommy said I won't grow old. What do you mean you won't grow old? Because before then I'll turn to a star in the sky. Really? Do you know that every star in the sky was actually a person once upon a time? If you aren't happy in your life, you won't become the most beautiful and brightest star in the sky. And then your family and friends won't be able to find you. So, you have to try and make yourself the brightest star possible. Is that right? Right, but I don't know if I have enough time to gather a lot of stars. I hope mom and dad can see me as soon as they look at the sky. Grandpa, the shiny ring you were just looking at is also a beautiful star. It's a star that nobody wants to keep. Where's the ring? Where is it? I'm so sorry. I didn't know that she was so terribly sick. <laughs> it's not your fault. We weren't able to give her a healthy body from the start. It made her... suffer. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. It's my fault. I wasn't looking right then. I'm sorry. Paula, I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. It won't take too much time. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's up? When you were giving that little girl a checkup earlier, did you find a diamond ring on her? Mm, a ring? Paula, one of the passengers here just lost a ring, a wedding ring. But right before he found out it was missing, the last person he saw was the little girl. So we... Uh, but I didn't find any ring on this girl at all. Do you have proof? Not really. We've checked the surveillance video of that area, but there's one small blind spot, so we just wanted to come here to double check and prove she's innocent. Mm. I won't allow you to insult my girl. Calm Stop. down. How dare you suspect Calm my down. daughter? My daughter never steals things. You're unbelievable. How dare you accuse a child without any evidence? All right, sir, please calm down first, okay? That tour guide was there. If she walked with her eyes open, my daughter wouldn't be like this. Celsius' condition has stabilized. However, I'm not sure as to when she will regain consciousness. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia is a disease that affects the immune system. There is no easy treatment or cure. Whether Celsius' condition will remain stable for the duration of this cruise, it's difficult to say. Moreover, we did not find the ring on Xiao Xi. Now, at the time she ran into the guide, her position was fairly far from Mr. Zhang left the ring box. The guide also 
knows nothing about the ring. Let this be a sharp reminder to all of us. We will find the culprit. And make sure that our guests know that our cruise ships have the highest levels of safety and security, okay? Yes, Captain. Paula, find the time to speak to the kids' parents. We're landing in Sardinia soon. Let's see if we can transfer the child to a local hospital. I'm on it. That's it. Thank you, Captain. Dinkai, come with me. How is Mr. Jong's mood? From the outside, he seems all right. But I feel like he's still having a hard time. Such a terrible thing happened on his wedding day. Now the ring's missing. We're really going to have to look after him. Yes, Captain. But I heard Mr. Jung has Alzheimer's. Let me put it another way. Maybe the ring was never in the box in the first place. He forgot it, then called security. Captain, I think what you said is also a possibility. But based on my understanding of Mr. Jung's current condition, his disease isn't that serious. And what's more, the ring was important to him. Well, now our only suspect and witness is in a coma and can't be questioned. So we shouldn't take Mr. Jong's word for it. As the investigating authority on the ship, we can't allow criminality, but we shouldn't lose sight of a possible simple truth. What do you think Dinkai and the captain are speaking about? You know, I bet you that Dinkai is getting cursed by the captain for letting him down. I mean, Dinkai is just way too reckless. That girl is in a coma. While she was still in the emergency room, Dinkai, he just ran over there to her and started to interrogate her like she committed a crime. She was still in the emergency room. I mean, this sort of approach, it's, well, it doesn't meet our standards. It's just not our philosophy of human care. It's so obvious he's so eager to please. <laughs> but look at me, I'm Dinkai. Notice how good of a person I am. Please, if this exact situation happened on any of the European fleets, not a single person would have done what Dinkai did. This kind of behavior is just ridiculous and childish. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Last time, when he went straight against the captain's direct order and went his own way. That maybe made him seem like, you know, he wasn't aiming for fame and fortune. But, uh, no. That guy, in his bones, he does not mind playing the hero or standing right under the limelight. Dinka handled the matter appropriately. He could have caught the thief red-handed. Or, clear of all charges, if she's innocent. I would have done the same thing, too. What's wrong? You want to get out now? I don't want to go study in Italy. Why not? Italy is very beautiful. If I go to Italy, I'll be separated from my dad forever. There are so many planes now. Distance isn't a problem. <sighs> you don't understand. Don't I? Then explain to me. If I always stay with my mom, dad will be unhappy. But. If I stay with my dad, I won't see my mom often. They always fight. And I know that they often fight because of me. Mom is always sad. But when she sees me, she pretends to be happy in front of me. I don't want her to be fake happy. I hope she can be happy for real every day. Now I understand why your mom always looks gloomy. I saw on TV one time that if you wish on a star, your wish will come true. So I wish on a star every day. 
I wish my mom will be happy. Tianyue, what do you think? Do you think my wish will come true one day? If I sure will. Tianyue, come here, please. I have some questions about Xiaoxi. How is she? She woke up? Not yet. Did anything else happen before she fainted? Anything else? Think about it carefully. For example, did you see anyone else around Mr. Jiang? Things happened so quickly. She ran into me before I looked up, and then fainted. I was anxious to get her to the infirmary, and didn't notice my surroundings. It was my fault. If it weren't for me, so she wouldn't have passed out. Don't blame yourself. Hey, sir. Hmm? Is Xiaoxi the girl who always wears a hat? That's right. What happened to her? Xiaoxi is sick. She's resting now. Xiaoxi, Xiaoxi. Xiao Xi. What's going on here? Nurse! 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 My daughter is missing! Where did my daughter go? She's not Our there Our daughter now. is missing! Come here and look for yourself! Hurry! Hurry! Come look! Hurry! Look! It's the Milky Way! It's the first time I've seen it! It's so pretty! I really wish I could live up there. I'll live in the sky in the future, but I don't want to live on the Milky Way. You don't want to live there? But I thought you really liked stars. Just look up there. There are so many bright stars in the Milky Way. If I lived there, my mom and dad wouldn't find me easily. I see. You're worried that if you go to the Milky Way, the other stars are so bright that your mom and dad won't find you. Really happy people must. 
stars have become the bright stars in the Milky Way. Don't worry. I bet that you can be the happiest person in the whole world and also the brightest star in the Milky Way. Then you can live there and don't need to worry that your mom and dad can't find you. Do you really think that will happen? Yeah, of course. Everyone knows that to excel and succeed in the business world, shrewd business acumen is indispensable. Business is the same as life. It's a long distance race. You can't succeed without a strong, healthy body. So this class is to teach you the importance of your health. All right, you can leave your phone, wallet, room key, and other such things here with me. I'll watch them for you. So What's high? If you're scared, then you don't have to climb. Just worry about yourself, huh? Hey, Mr. Xiang. Hey, what is this? Tianyue, when did you get such a pretty ring? What ring? The cut, the purity. You got engaged? This isn't my ring. Hey, isn't this the ring that Mr. Jiang just lost? I... I don't know why this ring was with my stuff. Sit down. How... how come his ring suddenly ended up in there? I should be asking you that. But I don't know. You, you have to believe me. I really don't know. Then tell me. Did Mr. Jiang ask you to keep the ring for him earlier but forgot? He has Alzheimer's, you know. I don't remember that. I don't think he ever gave it to me. It couldn't have fallen there by itself. I promise I really didn't steal Mr. Jiang's ring. But you're the most suspicious right now. But I really didn't steal it! Please believe me! I believe you. But we need solid evidence, don't we? With whom? Tianyue? Impossible. I know that girl. How's that possible? You must be mistaken. This ring is worth 80,000 yuan. Under Chinese law, this is a high-valued criminal case. And since this occurred on the open sea, we're required to turn over the case to the local maritime authorities upon arrival at the next port. Captain, I think we have to handle this matter carefully. There's something fishy about it. If she really was the thief we're looking for, why would she keep a valuable stolen item in a transparent folder in broad daylight? That doesn't make any sense. It just shows that she's extremely clever. Where else could she keep it? If she put the ring in the room, we could search the room and find it there. Perhaps the least secure place is the safest. Maybe that was what she was thinking. Your analysis is too subjective. She's still young. Maybe not experienced. We're landing a Sardinia soon. We'll hand her over to the local police authorities. Okay? Wait, you can't blame me for this mess, all right? Sure, I had her join this tour, but you hired her yourself, remember? It turns out you hired a thief. What straight A student? This woman is just evil. All right, all right. I, I promise I'll handle this matter this time. You guys owe me. I'm always cleaning up messes for you every day. You owe me big time. Goodbye. Did she take anything from me? Thank you.
Shashi, we're almost there. Come. Look there. You see that? Look what that Look is. I'm coming! We've arrived! Mister, I can't see sure. anything! Lift no. me up, too! Am I free to go now? The ship's decided to hand you over to the Sardinian police. Why's that? Why hand me over to the police? Don't tell me that you found evidence that I'm a thief. According to international law, we have no right to investigate. Hinyue, I believe you. But no evidence has been found yet. I'm not leaving. I'll go with you. Come in. Professor Lin. I'm sorry. I should replace her as the tour guide, but I have some personal issues to deal with. Sorry to trouble you. It's all right. Quite a few people have left. Xiong Kailin, Bai Jing, and her son, and Mr. Xiang. There are a few people left, so we can handle this. So they won't join the tour? Yes, right. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, let's go. Okay. Hello, everyone. Annie, thank you for today. You're welcome. Everyone, please wait for me. I want to have Chelsea and her parents join our tour today, okay? Okay. No okay, problem. Okay. No problem. No problem. Wait. Is she sick? Shashi? Hello Chelsea. there. How do you feel? Thank Hi, you all. Shin. We have all heard your story. Chelsea, have you seen us before? You're so brave. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what happened? What is she doing? Is that misunderstanding? Hey, mother of Orisi. What a pity. Her life has been ruined. Don't say her whole life is ruined by one mistake. As long as she can reform, she can still live a good life later. Come on, everybody. All right. Let's all line up and get ready to leave. Captain originally asked me to handle this entire case. But Ding Kai insisted on taking it over. Seems it's very concerned about this woman. <sighs> Look over there. It's gorgeous. The scenery around here is so special. You like wow, it? It's so pretty. <laughs> you like it? Shashi, do you want to go in the lighthouse? Yes, I do. Do you want me to carry you? No, I want to go up by myself. Then let's go. Come on. 
Come on, let's Sorry. go take a look. Xiaoxi, come on. Gorgeous. Be careful, Xiaoxi. Xiaoxi, is it pretty? It's really beautiful. Here, let me lift you up. Look here. Come on. Xiaoxi, let's say hello to the world, shall we? Hey, hey! hey. Hello there! Hello there! Hello there. Xiaoxi, come hey. on, Xiaoxi! <laughs> to this place, okay? Sure. When we get there, we'll take a really nice photo and hang it with this picture. Excuse me. Sorry, you can't come with us. Just stay here. You have to remember what I just told you. Given the current situation, what's the legal process look like? Then could you help me get a local lawyer? Okay, thank you. I'll send you the info right now. Excuse me, sir. The handover procedure has been completed. You can go now. May I ask when the final result will come out? We don't know yet, but rest assured, we're following every procedure according to the law. I hope the result will come out sooner, because she's not only our passenger, but also the representative of our marketing partner. I'm responsible for her. So yourself. Just make sure you don't disturb anybody else here. The weather here is really comfortable, right? If I could stay in a place like this every day, I'd be over the moon. Well, if you invest in real estate, I can help fulfill your wish. This is my project site. Let's check it out. All right. Please. Let me repeat. No matter what it takes, you can't let Anyone else steal this deal from me? This deal is mine. You know what to do. Miss He, you guessed the code for this lock correctly. This place has some connection to you. Regarding this resort, the commercial management rights are all mine. But I'm always too busy to manage this little business. So I'm looking for a reliable partner. I hope my partner can run this small resort for me. If you live here, simply lounge all day long. Get some race and drink tea. You'll have a nice life here when you're not working. This must be expensive. 
This is a well-known European holiday destination. It meets the demands of house buyers, plus has room for appreciation. You get what you pay for. What would you like to drink? I'll get it for you. Water, please. One sec. This school here is actually a comprehensive school, covering grades from kindergarten to junior high school, and most students can be directly enrolled. And how much are the tuition fees here? From elementary school to high school, the government provides free admission. Excuse me. Oh. Hello? Hey, Thomas. How's it going? Ah, oh, perfect. She's a very important friend of mine. She wants to invest in the project. You can talk with her about the details. Thank you so much. Okay, see you later. Goodbye. Ms. Hu, buying a house requires a large sum of money. Don't rush your decision. Think carefully. Shall I send you back to the tour group for her? Uh, Mr. Xiang, we can go directly to the purchase center later and talk about the contract details. <laughs> You decide quickly. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Miss Bai. Take your time thinking about the school. Let's go look at the resort. Okay, thanks a lot. Sure. Let's go, Duan Duan. Here, Miss Bai. This is my car right here. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's not in Chinese. Give me an English copy. Oh, it doesn't matter. As long as it's legally valid, it's fine. Of course it matters. You should always take a close look at the details. After you sign this contract, you'll start a new chapter in your life. <laughs> there are some obligations that both parties must perform, so shouldn't you call your company first? There's no need for that. Buying this house is my own business. The other deal is separate. We could discuss both at once. Well, my company is planning on signing. Of course, I hope we can speed up the process after today. Hey, Mr. Xiang. I have a question that I've been wanting to ask you. Of course. Is there anyone else from our class who's talking with you about a tourism project? Well, before our final partner's confirmed, Nothing is definite. And I'm not really sure if your agency has the ability to expand over here. Miss Hu, I'm a businessman. I'm also in business. Since I've come here today, it shows that Baohua is capable and confident. Of course, I hope I don't have to go back empty-handed. I should sign here, right? All right. Since you've been so sincere today, I don't have any worries. Shall we find a nice place in town where we can celebrate? Yeah. I know several places. Okay, let's go. Hey, Fair. What's up? I sin. What happened to Tianyue? My mom said the police took her. Oh, that's right. I didn't expect that. Dinkai escorted her off the ship and sent her to the station. Have you seen her since then? No. I haven't seen her, but Din Kai left with her, so who knows where they are. I haven't seen Din Kai since then. So I really don't know what the situation is right now. This must be a misunderstanding. I don't believe Tianyu would steal something, so hurry up and ask Din Kai what's going on. All right, don't worry. Once Din Kai comes back, I will ask him... Hello, 
Bison. Hey! Please, come on. Let's go. Come with us. This way. Annie? Say what? Where are you now? Wait for me, I'm coming. Bye. So it turns out that flying UFO was your drone. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I've really been wrong today because of your drone. Have you never seen a drone before? You dare laugh? We're at a police station. Could you please be serious? I don't think I've done anything illegal here. I can leave after they check it out. The cops have the final say here, not you. Also, drones are prohibited on our ship. Don't you know that? Hey, are you a photographer? Why do you have such professional equipment? It actually isn't a professional drone. It's more like a child's toy, really. I'm going to enter college in six months. I have a buddy who wants to attend Marine Time University. I came on this cruise to take some footage of the ship for him, so he can learn more. Is that so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we thought it was a UFO. We're really sorry. It's okay, so we watched the video from the drone, and it was just random shots, but she violated our laws. So that's why we have to take her drone. There are a lot of foreign tourists right now. We need to check everything strictly. Sorry for that. Of course, I understand that, but could we watch the video because the drone did some shooting of our ship as well. Truth is, she's not allowed to operate a drone over our ship either. Sure. Everything's okay? He just said we could watch the footage that was taken of the ship. Miss Tianyue, please don't waste our time. What you need to do is cooperate with us. We're wasting time if you don't answer the questions honestly. Tell us the truth. I didn't steal the ring. I've told you everything. I'm innocent. Everyone who comes here says the same thing. If you're here, you did something wrong. So tell us the truth. Stop. Go back, please. Isn't this the day Mr. Jiang lost his ring? So then Tianyue didn't steal it. They've decided to hand over your case to the Chinese police. You're going to be repatriated to China. I have a job to do. I need to go back to the ship. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not a thief. Why are you sending me back? We're not handling your case anymore. You're going back to China. Let's go.
Here. Call your family. They have to pay for your ticket, and you'll take the next flight back to your country. For real. 